So working with Jeffrey here, I've been working with him since he was a pup. He's still pretty young, but he still has a little bit of pulling and walking issues. So um, just taking him out for a walk with me, um, kind of socialize a little bit or get him more comfortable with other people and see if we can work on some of the walking stuff. Ah. Of course now he's pulling, right? So we just got away from the release tension and then we'll move forward to the bush. It's hard sometimes for a dog to learn that idea that the tight leash is not what gets you moving. So it takes a second and they, they've worked on a lot. He knows how to heal, but his pulling is still pretty bad. Yes, go boy. And there it is. Now he's in the heel. Jeffrey, go boy. And now he didn't pull me to get to the smell, so I'm gonna let him smell. A lot of people don't like their dog wandering left and right and kind of smelling this and that. My rule is that as long as you don't pull me, I'm okay with you smelling stuff. I want you to enjoy your walk. So here we go. He's going to put a little tension, but it, no, there he goes. So I to slow down. Uh, uh, uh. Jeffrey. Oh, a couple of boys. Jeffrey. Hey, heel. Good boy, who's a good boy? Here we go with another leash pup. Up. Oh, good boy. Yeah, who's a good boy? One thing, too, that people don't do enough of is when you get your dog on the side you want him on, whether you're correcting or not. So if I do just a little pop to keep him here. But once Jeffrey stays with me for a while, I'm going to keep going, good boys. Good boy, Jeffrey. Good boy. You want to come up here? Come on. Why don't you come up here? Come on, come on, come on, Jeffrey. <laughs> come on. Why don't you come up here? Oh, you're going to lick my watch? Thank you. That's nice.